Hello guys, Phantom says on X18 here with another video, and today I went to Walmart. Uh, I'm gonna upload those videos uh, a little soon, but in my Walmart, I was trying to look for a Ryushu G1 Soundwave and I couldn't find it. I was a little sad at the beginning, but then I look at the top shelves and boom, he was hiding on the top shelves. So I had to look for something long to pull him down, and I did. Um, I have. I have a feeling I could go to jail for that, but then again, I've seen a, a lot of YouTubers reviewing this, so Yeah, there are YouTubers who already reviewed this tour already, and I'm already late, so Hey, better late than never So here is the re Reissue G1 Soundwave Look how beautiful that is Look how, like, look at it Look, the old Transformers logo and the side of the package and the back I'm pretty sure a bunch of G1 uh, fans uh, recognize this if you want to read it, hey look there's your bio there's their sound wave there is uh is that buzzsaw and here's sound waves uh, freaking Data, I don't know. And bus souls. And hey, look at that. Ah, uh, if only I grew up with this. Like, look at the box art. Look how amazing that looks. And why am I spending more time in the box instead of the actual toy itself? Because I haven't opened it yet. So yeah, I'll uh, hear steps in case if you if you need one. Or you could just go on YouTube. So yeah, that's the box art for the Reissue G1 Soundwave. And now let's take it out of the package. So yeah, here's G1 Soundwave out of the packaging. God damn, this is so freaking beautiful. I think fifty dollars for all this, it's worth it. Way better than that freaking Rishi Optimus Prime. Oh my gosh, can these buttons actually work? Oh no, it doesn't work. It'll be cool if, if it does work. Wait, does the volume thing work? Oh, it does work. Ah, the volume. There it is. Damn, that looks shiny. Now let's look at Buzzsaw, not Laser Break. I like how the stickers look like. Of course, I can recognize this. I mean, hell, even you can recognize this. Look how shiny that is. This should be his cannon. Yeah, this is his cannon. This one, it's his gun. I think in the box I see it's attached with this. Oh yeah, it does work. So now, let's transform him, shall we?
so here is G1 Soundwave in all his glory, bulkiness. So yeah, so to anyone who's in those type of new figures where it's very poseable, um, this toy, as you can clearly see here, is not very poseable, like those Siege War for Cybertron or Studio Series. Or if you're in the future, if you have a Studio Series Soundwave, you'll see how poseable that figure is compared to this one. This is a reissue 80s sound wave. So the, the articulation, oh, see, like this, that's the only, yep, articulation wise he's a bit like generic or basic, for some reason you can make him look like he broke his leg, oh shit I gotta be careful with these stickers, uh, leg, uh, no, you can't move the legs for some reason. I don't want to break it. So, uh, head. Hang on. Head. No neck. Oh, technically he can look up, but that's due to transformation. Uh, feet. Uh, oh my god. No. I'm not telling you fucker. Uh, feet. The, due to transformation. You can make him, uh, the, yeah. He's not very poseable, but it's still a great looking 80s toy. But for a buzz, it's a buzz saw, uh, the only articulation you can do is just the wings. Head, um, can look up, oh, yeah, he does look up and down. But maybe that's due to transformation. Maybe, I don't know. Feet cannot move. So yeah, uh, I didn't put the stickers on yet, but later on I will. So what are my size comparisons? <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. Here he is next to the uh, Studio Series Deluxe Stinger, so you can get the size of like, how tall he's, he is. Yeah. So just because um, he was in the Bumblebee movie, here he is next to the Volkswagen. Volkswagen. OB. Here he is. Hang on. There you go. So, yeah. Here he is next to the uh, Studio Series Voyager Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. Hang on. So yeah, for any uh, Siege War for Cybertron collectors, here he is next to the uh, G1, uh, not G, the yeah, Siege Soundwave. Here he is next to my waifu-in-law, Zeton. Oh wait, is that- Oh, I almost forgot. Another thing you could do with this G1 Soundwave. You can do this. Yay! So, what do I think of this figure overall? Overall, this figure is really nice. I really like the look. Even though I didn't grow up with G1, I still like the shiny chrome stickers and paint they used to do back in the old days. The toy is neat, but not very advanced to today's figures in general. So if you're a very huge G1 Soundwave fan, go to your local Walmart, see if they have it. If not, then you have to order it online. Yeah. Or go to eBay, maybe, or Amazon. So he costs like $50, the same amount as G1's Optimus Prime. I think this one is even more worth it than Optimus Prime. I never got the Optimus Prime reissue one, mainly because of how expensive he was. But Soundwave is more cooler than Optimus. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And I might do more Transformer videos on my channel. Because my channel back then was just an Ultraman channel. Now I'm going to be both, Ultraman and Transformers. I'm rarely Godzilla. So yeah, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye guys.